I've just spent the last two weeks hands-on with the world's smallest portable NAS. This is the Unified Drive UT2 16 terabyte all SSD portable NAS. This device has more features than any NAS we've ever tested, and we'll get to that in a minute. The UT2 weighs 350 grams or less than a pound, and it's about the same size as the Samsung S24 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Full disclosure, we received the UT2 for free for a completely unbiased and honest review. And that's exactly what you're gonna get because anything less will be a disservice to Unify Drive. The Unify UT2 is not only a NAS, but it's also a one-click backup for your SD, micro SD, CFE, and TF cards. And it's also a media server for watching your movies or TV shows. And it's also a personal photo album that includes AI-driven tools. And the UT2 is also a personal cloud storage with auto backup for your cell phone pictures. And this is also a USB storage device that you can plug into your TV or monitor and watch movies or TV shows. And good news, the UT2 does support Docker and virtual multiple Android systems simultaneously. And the UT2 even features WLAN hotspot functionality, effectively acting as a router. And this device does appear to be your one-stop solution for all your storage needs, but we'll find out if that's true in this video. And we're also gonna find out how easy it is to set up and use. So stay tuned. I'm Michael Scott, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. So first, let's talk about the UT2 connections. At the top of the device, we have an HDMI port, a 2.5 gig ethernet port, and a dedicated type C port for charging. And there's also a power button and a reset button. At the bottom of the UT2 is a USB port, SD slot, and a CFE slot. And there's a type C connection for data transfers. On each side of the NAS, there's a single button. One is for plug and backup, and the other is for Wi-Fi hotspot. So the UT2 has every possible connection that you could ever need or want. So what kind of hardware comes inside the UT2? Well, the UT2 is powered by an eight core CPU and also includes eight gigabytes of LP DDR4 RAM. And the UT2 utilizes dual SSDs for fast read and write speeds. And because these are SSDs, there are no moving parts in these hard drives. And this reduces the risk of data loss due to mechanical failure, which means if you drop the UT2, you should be okay. And with the UT2, you do get a power backup, which guarantees uninterrupted power. And good news, the UT2 includes three storage options. You have single disk, RAID 1, and UDR. And for this video, we're gonna use RAID 1. And one last thing about the UT2, it does include active cooling. So there is a fan and the fan is very quiet. And this active cooling should prevent the device from overheating. So what comes with a UT2? Well, you get a detailed user manual with lots of detailed information for the setup process. And you also get a warranty card. You get the UT2 NAS, which includes this rugged silicone case. You get an HDMI cable, a flat style ethernet cable, a dual head type C cable, remote control that includes batteries, a screwdriver, Type-C power brick, and it also includes NVMe SSD screws for mounting. And just a heads up, no SSDs are included with the NAS. SSDs are sold separately. But don't worry, I'll have a link down below for recommended SSDs. Installing the NVMe SSDs is super easy. Just remove this back plate with a screwdriver and insert both NVMe SSDs into the slot. Then secure the SSD with a screw. Then reattach the back plate. Once we start the setup process, it will automatically format the SSDs. And both of these SSDs are 500 gigabyte. And we're gonna run this in mirror configuration for redundancy. So now let's get the setup process started. So like everything else in this world, there's an app for that. So first things first, download the Unified Drive app. Then plug the UT2 into the power connection and then connect the UT2 to your network using the ethernet cable and plug it into the router or switch. And then once the UT2 obtains an IP address, you can then open the app and then add the UT device. And the first thing I had to do was update the UT2 device. And the next thing we have to do is create an account. And then now we can create a storage pool. And as you can see here, I chose RAID 1. And this is mirror configuration. And RAID 1 provides redundancy in case one of the drives fails. And then we're gonna hit next and then we're gonna format both SSD drives. And now we can see the control panel. At the top of the control panel is the information about the UT device. And below that is all the apps. 
and we have 12 icons. We have My Files, Group Files, Phone Backup, Photos, Movies, Notepad, Flash Trans, Storage, Monitor, Plug Backup, User Center, and Settings. And there are several icons that are hidden, including Remote Access, Music, Recycle Bin, Cloud Backup, Downloads, HD Migration, Security, Reader, and File Requests. And these icons are not available for use yet, but will be available with further updates coming soon. And this will also include the virtual Android system. So the first thing we have to do is add some data to our device. And we're going to add some movies and TV shows. And I'll show you how to do this. So first thing is go to your computer and go to the network tab. And in the network tab, you'll see the NAS. Click onto the tab and then add your credentials. And now we can create folders and then drop and drag movies and TV shows into the NAS. And we're going to create those folders within the app. So go to My Files and then go to the plus button. And from here, you can add a new folder. And we're going to start with movies, then TV shows, photos, and music. And once these folders are created, we'll see these folders on the computer. So first, we're going to add movies. I love Mission Impossible, so we're going to add all the Mission Impossible movies. And then next, we'll add some TV shows. And then now we'll add some photos. And then now all of this data is available on the phone app. I can watch movies, TV shows, or scroll through photos. So one of the cool things about the UT2 device is that it can become a router by using the hotspot functionality. So I go into the settings, the network settings, and WLAN settings, and then enable hotspot. And from here you can see the name of the network, which you can change, as well as the password, which you can change. We're gonna keep the password to make things simple. And then next we'll go into our phone Wi-Fi settings and connect to the hotspot. And we'll also do a speed test to see how fast it is. And to my amazement, this download speed is very fast. And one thing you wanna do with the hotspot functionality, you wanna turn it off when it's not being used because it can be a security issue. So there's two more storage options we're gonna talk about. The first one is the one touch backup for your SD cards, micro SD cards, CFE and TF cards. And this is a pretty impressive storage option because I use micro SD cards all the time. And we're talking about my DJI drone and my GoPro. And this is a very simple process. All I have to do is insert my micro SD card into my SD card adapter and then press the button on the top left two times and then you'll hear two beeps. And then once the transfer is complete, you'll hear three beeps. And for some reason, if there's a failure, you'll hear two long beeps. But this is a fantastic way to back up your GoPro footage or your drone footage. And the best part is you can be out filming with your drone or GoPro. And then once you're done filming, you can back up your data, which is fantastic. Because sometimes we know we lose things or things get damaged. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the file transfer. And this is enabled with the Flash Trans app. And what this does, it allows the sharing of files between users. So for instance, you can send files from the UT device to any user you want. Once they have the code, you can share any files you want. And that means any file size and any quantity. It can be movies, TV shows, photos, music, you name it. And this is a fantastic way to share your files on the go. And the UT2 also includes direct streaming with AP mode, which could be fantastic for a business meeting. It also includes HDMI DP direct output and HDMI and Blu-ray playback and the UT2 can even become a personalized home theater. Pretty cool. And to top it off, the UT2 includes high-speed data transfers, up to eight gigabits per second. And the one last important thing I wanna talk about is the built-in backup UPS, which allows for the UT2 device to be used on the road or on the go. And Unified Drive claims one hour of use on a full charge. And we got about 45 minutes of full use before we had to start charging it again. And one hour of use is more than enough time to back up your GoPro, drone footage, or even your cell phone footage. So the big question is, who is the UT2 made for? Well, without a doubt, it's made for content creators. For instance, guys like Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat, or Xander Budnick. All of these creators work outside with 4K cameras, drones, 
GoPros, and even cell phones. And the UT2 would allow them to back up all their photos and videos while in the field, which also frees up space for your micro SD cards because you can delete the footage after you back it up. And if you're a YouTube drone content creator like 51 Drones or Flightpath, then the UT2 is a must have. It's perfect for backing up all your drone footage. And not to mention, it's super easy. And if you're a YouTube travel vlogger like Peter Centinello or Bald and Bankrupt, then backing up your GoPro footage to the UT2 device is super easy. And lastly, if you take lots of vacations or travel for business, then the UT2 will be a great asset to back up your videos photos, and documents. And once again, it's quick and easy and safe and secure. So after testing all the features, these are my thoughts and review on the UT2 Portable NAS. The first thing I like about this device is the size and portability. It's lightweight and small, which means it will fit anywhere, like a backpack, small purse, camera backpack, or even a drone case. And the one touch micro SD card is genius. And the auto backup for your phone photos is awesome. And one of the coolest things about this device is the hotspot functionality. Essentially, it's a router, and that's amazing. And one last thing, all the connections on this NAS are more than enough, which makes the UT2 NAS nearly perfect. And just a heads up, the only feature I couldn't test was the virtual Android systems. And that feature is currently not available to the next update. And Unified Drive told me the update is coming soon. So guys and gals, if you're looking for a portable NAS with massive storage capacity and functions as a media server and a router, then the UT2 is a no-brainer. It's got everything you need and everything you want. And the current price for the UT2 is $399. And of course, there'll be a link below to where you can buy it. And if Unified Drive sends us any discount codes, they'll be listed below. So guys and gals, the UT2 is one badass portable NAS. High five. Peace.